Okay guys, here's the update on everything that I've done to the new bike. I put the different tour pack on there. I put these uh, reflective stripes on there. Keep me visible. I rebent the metal that holds the back of the backrest here so that it moved it forward about three quarters of an inch to put me a little closer to the handlebars. Um, I put the crash bars, the rear crash bars on it and added the bags. Uh, this side has my tools and a can of fix-a-flat. The other side has bungee cords and zip ties and a few nuts and bolts and actually is holding a bottle of water. This switch here is for my electric clothing. Um, <clears throat> Up here on the handlebars, I put my uh, GPS, and that's the same bracket that I had on my electric glide. Uh, the electric glide had a um, uh, outlet, a cigarette lighter outlet. So um, I got this and put on it, wired it up. This um, not only powers up the Garmin, but it also powers up this and a um, uh, LED that tells me how many volts the battery's putting out and these are USB ports so I can charge my telephone and let's see put the windshield bag in I cut about five inches off of the height of the windshield um, I put these clear hand guards on here the um, let's see so you can see the front end there Anyway, the uh, electric light, of course, had the big bat wing fairing that protected your hands, where this one doesn't, so I put those on there. Um, so the having the two exhaust pipes on this side, even though these rear crash bars said they would fit, they wouldn't. Um, so I had to cut them. I cut it off down here, welded a plate onto it, and now they bolt into the same two bolts that hold the um, two mufflers the brackets up. So it's a good solid mount there. And let's see, oh, I put these uh, heat shields on. So I think that's about it. I think that's everything I did to it. And uh, now it's ready to go for a ride. Oh, yes, you notice the white wall tires are gone. I put uh, the new Michelin Commander II tires on it. Uh, the old tires were original tires, so they were kind of dry rotted, and they, um, uh, the old Dunlop tires, they actually had flat spots on them from the bike sitting for four years. So uh, this is actually the first trip out with the new tires. And the other thing that I had to do the quick connect for the fuel uh, here, that started leaking. So I had to put new O-rings in that, rebuild that, and uh, that's all good to go now. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing from these bikes sitting for a while, and this one was sitting for at least four years. Uh, gotta, gotta watch out for things like that. All righty guys, time to go for a ride.